what is going on all right guys so you can tell by the title of the video we're gonna be doing a before and after video on a Mosin Nagant now this rifle was sent to me by e Honda 720 if you haven't checked him out go over there and subscribe to him I'll put the link in the description box down below but he's doing a giveaway on his channel and he wants to give away this rifle right here uh, it belongs to him and um, it, he wanted to get it fixed up before he gives it away because uh, my understanding is this rifle's been pretty bubbified and um, not not in a good way and so what we're going to do with this rifle is we're going to kind of reinvigorate it and make it something kind of cool and unique hopefully and make it a little bit different um, it's a good shooter but apparently whatever he's done there's some issues there and we're going to go ahead and correct those those issues uh, and then uh, this will be given away to one of his subscribers I have not seen this rifle yet um, I've not taken it out of the box the box is open because my FFL had to open it but it's not even opened all the way I don't know what this thing looks like. I did get to see it once in a live stream, but you know, over the internet, crappy, you know, cameras and stuff. Who knows what it really looks like up close? So let's go ahead and take it out and see what it actually does look like here. And okay, I think that's it. Let's move the box out of the way. All right. Now, uh, there we go. That's right. Got my trusty little knife here. Let's see what we can. Okay. Oh god. Already. Yeah. Oh no. Uh, I think that's just tape. And here we have it. Oh. Oh my god. So. Uh, you can see here we've got one of these things on here which isn't really on there securely um, the stock has been spray painted as has it looks like some of the metal as has it looks like all the metal he spray painted the gun dear god Honda what the hell uh, it looks like he did a great job trying to uh, carve this down a little bit it's obviously a joke the buttstock which is taped on by the way taped on buttstock <laughs> and he also chopped down the stock to about right here so he chopped chopped a few inches off the stock um we've got a scope mount which I was told is not even on straight and I'm looking at it and well when I look at it yeah it's slightly canted I don't know if you guys can see that but it's slightly off to the side here just just a little bit so that's fun um, again the spray painter is the thing that's driving me the most crazy um, yeah we got a lot to do with this thing um, what we're probably gonna do well we're getting a new stock we're getting new scope scope mount um, I'm going to clean everything off get all the old spray paint off I've got a new bolt coming which is gonna be a standard bolt um, gonna do a little bit of a trigger job on these things which is really really simple um, you know, we're just going to do a few things to try and spruce this up. I've got actually some of the parts in right now. We've got some scope rings, we've got a scope mount, and we've got an actual scope here, which is a, uh, what is this, a 3 to 9? I don't remember what it is, but we've got some of the parts now. The stock hasn't come in yet, the parts that I ordered for the trigger have not come in yet, and the bolt hasn't come in yet. But, we're going to put a nice Boyd stock on this. Uh, we're going to clean it up. I'm going to make sure it's cleaned internally and everything's good and, and, and where it should be and it's in working order and everything's set. Um, you know, we're going we're gonna to get it fixed up, okay? So through the power of, of, of magic and editing, uh, we're going to just swoosh over to probably two weeks into the future when I have this done and we'll get to see what it looks like uh, when it's all finished up. But here's the before, literally spray painted and taped up like a savage. Who would do this to a Mosin? Oh my god. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and just uh, flash forward into the future and see what we have once we're all finished. Okay, so next part in the, uh, in the video here is just to show you what's really going on with this thing once I've gotten it broken down. Got it taken apart. It's pretty easy to take apart. Um, did have some stripped out uh, Allen heads here on the, uh, the mount for the, uh, for the scope, but I just kind of jammed a screwdriver in there and got those out. We <laughs> This is the, the rock solid mount that uh, he put on there and apparently he drilled out some holes, uh, or actually drilled out the holes here 
and then it didn't work right so he drilled out the holes a little bigger and it still didn't work right so he drilled out the holes a little bigger and then what he had to do was make the holes bigger on this to fit the screws that fit in the bigger holes that he made on the receiver so that he could get the screws these big fat bastards right here to go through the rock solid mount and into the receiver now I test fit everything and, and, and you can see I mean it's it didn't go into the chamber the chamber starts right here so the bolt still closes so these you could leave these holes there and they wouldn't do anything what I'm probably going to do is uh, thread these in there and then cut them off so that it fills the holes but we've got one thing I absolutely love just covered in spray paint everything is covered in spray paint even the internals yay and then there's something here that's covered up it's like a if you can see that kind of brass color underneath the paint I don't know what on a Mosin is brass colored so I don't know why that's there I'm not sure I'm confused also uh, there's no rear sight base on it and without a rear sight base I can't mount the rear rail that we're gonna mount the scout scope on so I called Honda and <laughs> he's gonna send it to me he found it uh, in a drawer so we've got that um, yeah, anyway that's done got this pulled apart you can see here on the on the uh, <laughs> bolt he didn't drill the hole deep enough to hold this tight so it's just kind of loose there. I mean it works but we're gonna replace that <laughs> this stock is just trash this stock is trash it's obviously you can see it's cut off I mean, we talked about the duct tape he, he did try to bed the rifle um, I say try because he he tried he did not succeed <laughs> And everything's covered in spray paint, man. This is going to be fun. This is going to be fun. I brought this out just to show you what a, a modified Mosin should look like. Just so there we go. <laughs> but it, this is the state of the rifle. Look, it, it, it's it's not as bad as I'm making it seem. It's just a lot of little things that we're going to clean up. And I'm going to get some uh, some uh, paint, uh, paint stripper and remove all the spray paint and deal with all the stuff. I've got to knock the pins which have been spray painted over that are going to hold on the rear sight base because he he took the rear sight base off and then put the pins back in there and then sanded them down uh, so that they would fill those two little holes uh, for the sight base and then just spray painted over them so I'm gonna have to get new pins after I knock these pins out when I get the sight base fill that in strip it all down I'm probably going to cold blue it because um, he said uh, there's not much finish left under it once I strip the paint off of this thing so I'm probably going to re-blue it myself and uh, you know like I said do the trigger job we've got an interrupter coming in because he said he was having problems with his so we're gonna replace that uh, and we'll see where it's at once it's all finished so uh, again through the magic of editing here we go okay let's break in here real quick just to show you where we're at here um, this is where we're at I finally got all the paint off now once I got all the black spray paint off of this thing what was underneath it wasn't metal in fact what it was was a kind of a, a high heat bonded uh, gray um, primer he had actually primed everything before he painted it um, which I guess is good if you were gonna leave it that way um, and there was just primer everywhere on every little piece it's almost like he took it apart and primed every little individual piece separately and then screwed it back together uh, so there's it's hard to tell but there's even still some primer that I got to scrape off on the screws on, on parts of the screws that would have been screwed in you know I can understand the face of the screw but like actually on here and same thing with some of these internal parts they had primer on them so I don't know look this Mosin was just horribly horribly abused I'm glad we've got it here um, in treatment this is kind of like a it's kind of like a, a self-help treatment um, we're, we're, we're gonna we're gonna get her back to a state in which you know we can be proud of her again she can be proud of herself what Honda did to her was just inexcusable across the board I mean just every there, there was primer inside the magwell why is there primer in the mag what did you need to prime inside the magwell I don't I don't know but we're getting there okay uh, I've got all the parts for the scope except for the rear sight base which is coming in you see I got the uh, I got the uh, the pins knocked out, the old pins. And you see, this thing actually has a, an okay finish for, well, especially a really good finish, actually, honestly, for uh, for considering this is from 1943, so it's almost 80 years old. And because it's from 1943, it was most definitely used in the war. It wasn't just something that sat in a crate. In fact, you can even see right here where there's a, a repair here, 
right there on the side where they like brazed in some metal probably this thing got shot this thing probably had, took a bullet and it dented up the receiver so they they brazed in some uh, a little bit of uh, I don't know what this is uh, but they put some in there to, to repair that so for how old this rifle is and what it probably went through the finish doesn't look that bad I, I don't I don't understand why it was painted I really really don't it makes no sense bad Honda bad Honda Honda you shouldn't have done this to this poor innocent rifle but we move on we move on so uh, oh also the stock came in this is the Boyd's zombie green laminate stock that we're gonna be putting on it so we've got that coming in uh, I still need parts for the bolt parts for the trigger rear sight base so let's just uh, do another edit cut and uh, see what we got alright guys we are finally done it has been two weeks a lot of elbow grease quite a few parts a lot of scrubbing a lot of filing a lot of polishing a lot of chemicals and it's finally done we have here a very nice in my opinion scout style setup most in the got um, did come in and, and re-blue the barrel and uh, all the metal on it basically except for the bolt we've got the um, the uh, sniper style bolt which works very nice I did some internal work to the trigger a little bit of polishing a trigger return spring and then also just a shim in there to kind of shorten up the uh, the trigger pull much nicer than a, than a standard uh, a standard most in the got. Uh, we've got the mount on here. This is a really nice mount. I think it was Aim Sports or it might have been ATI. I can't remember what. It was like 10 bucks on uh, on on Amazon. Works great. We got a nice uh, 2 to 7 by 42 long eye relief scope. Uh, whoever ends up with this, um, I left the rail the length that it comes instead of cutting it off. So that way, if somebody needs to move the rings to different positions depending on what what works best with their eyes, they can do that. Um, obviously, the Boyd stock I think looks great. I love the zombie green. Um, it came out really, really well. I'm really happy with how this turns out. I'm jealous of whoever is going to get this gun uh, because I think it looks really nice. I think we have properly rehabilitated this Mosin Nagant uh, from all the abuse that it saw <laughs> from its previous owner. I'm absolutely in love with this thing. I think it looks great. Um, I may take some pictures and put them up on Instagram just to show everybody how it turned out. But there you go, guys. That is it. That is the end result for this, this kind of Franken Mosin. Uh, rehabilitation slash Mosin scout rifle so I think it turned out really really good I'm really happy with it and uh, man whoever gets it uh, in my opinion is uh, pretty lucky because this is a this is a nice rifle so that's gonna do it for today guys if you got any questions comments anything like that leave those down below and we will talk to you guys later thanks